Hello and welcome. So, new long-term project. It's not even going to be that long. I think it's going to be like four months. But we are going to dye ourselves some linen and make a dress. So, we're going to start with the dyeing part. So we're going to do it with indigo. And so I need a indigo vat. So that's what I have here. And generally, you use a cylindrical one. So a, a a round container. I don't have one big enough for the fabric I need to dye, so we're going to use this and hope it works. I mean, the first step I'm going to do is start to fill it with water. Not all the way to the top, maybe like to this line. There's a little line in my coat. I'm just going to use that. I'm going to use the hose because it's convenient. boiling water in this too, hoping that it'll heat it up faster. Um, I thought that it's, it's over 90 degrees today and Indigo likes to be around about 90 and it's well over that today. So I thought, uh, so I thought you know, maybe I would be able to get this about three hot, three half, but the water's coming out cold, which I wasn't expecting because it's really hot. I might put a pot or two of boiling water in here and just get it heated up. I think this is going to be to the point where I'm going to uh, do the rest of boiling water. And I am going to cover it with a lid because it's windy and I have trees all over my backyard. And I'd rather nothing get into my dye bath or my vat. So covering that, I'm going to go boil some water and and put some more water in this. And then we can start talking about the other supplies. All right, here we go. So I have some warm-ish water, not hot water, but as warm as I could get it. We're gonna add in the Indian here we go. I think it's what we want. So I'm going to put the lid on this. I'm going to get my fabric. I'm going to do a little scrap first. Oops. I'm going to do a little scrap first and see how this looks. But that's our indigo bat. So it's been sitting for a little bit and all the sediment should have gone down, hopefully. I have a swatch. I'm going to try to dye. Oxygen. Okay. That's 
Mr. A. Blue. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. That looks like it's going to work. Is the sediment still there? I'm going to leave it for maybe about another hour. Hopefully it won't be too dark to film. It is, I do have a porch light, so I think we'll be okay. But, oh my gosh, look at it, it's blue. It's blue. And it might be I can just wash the extra sediment off without too much trouble. But look at that. That was like just a few seconds. I assume that if I want it darker, I would just leave it in there longer. But we have indigo. Indigo dead cloth. Okay, I'm going to let this dry, I think, and um, we'll come back to it with a full amount of cloth in a moment. All right, we're going to try it with the dress weight. So, we have about six inch yards of linen. I'm going to attempt to try. Probably better to do this in batches. I'm afraid I won't get the same shade if I don't do it all at the same time. tie dye then we'll um, wring it out, let it dry, and we'll try a second dip. I've heard sometimes that helps. Alrighty. Hold out. It's been about maybe two or three minutes. I'm not going to touch it. Oh my gosh, look at it turn blue. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go hang it up on the fence. show you where, what it's doing. Um, it kind of dyed a little tie-dye. It's not all of it, I think, got to the indigo, which I was expecting, so we'll be okay. I'm just going to do another dip in a little bit. So you can see, like, on this side, it's a little green. I think it got too close to the sediment, which is what happens when you dye a lot of fabric. On the other end, you can kind of see, like, right there is where the tie-dye spot is, more of the white. So I'm just going to let it kind of fully oxidize, dry it a little bit, I might put it in the dryer. Don't know if that's going to hurt it. Um, see if I can get this to work. Okay, let's do dip number two. So this time the tie-dye side, the side that didn't get dyed as much, I'm going to put that in first and first and get really submerged. Try not to introduce oxygen into the dye vat. I'm going to leave that for a little bit. In about five minutes. Alrighty, let's see how this works.
little bit of tie-dye left on the side. Just along the bottom, really. Um, the center part seemed like it got pretty well dyed. I'm going to leave it for about 15 minutes and we'll come back and evaluate. Alright, it is like kind of dark, but I have an extra light out here. I think we're going to be okay. We're going to do a third dip. Next month we'll cut out the dress. So I managed to stain the deck, but all the fabric's died. Um, what I ended up doing, I just it needed a good 20 minute soak. And I got a nice, good shade um, that I'm happy with. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's, it's a nice shade. Kind of dark, but not too terribly dark. So, um, I ended up buying a skirt too, that's what the middle thing is. Um, but the one like over there, that's one of the skirt panels. I'm happy with it. So, I think I'm going to go take them in and iron them, and then next month we'll get to cutting and sewing. <laughs> 